Hello parents and my super intelligent students. Today we are going to discuss about LCM secrets which comes from mental math techniques. In lesson 3 and 4 already we discussed one technique for LCM and one technique for HCF. Of course we'll revise that but in this document we'll discuss two more techniques. And we will also discuss how to use it, how to apply it. But before that, what is the easiest application of LCM, you know, in addition and subtraction of fractions. And fraction is a key to get success in percentage, ratio, proportion and huge calculation which you'll do later in the physics. So my dear friends, I have two questions, 7 by 32 plus 13 by 24. If you know the answer, write it in the comment and tell me whether your speed is fast enough or not. Are you using the school method or you are using our method or you have your own method? If you want to add value to us, please write the comment and tell us some more new techniques and we'll share with our viewers definitely with credit to you. Now the next question, 7 by 48 plus 11 by 144. Please try to solve it and let's see how much time it takes and how much time it takes when you use my technique. Now let us come back to our LCM part. What I told in lesson 3 and lesson 4, see the big number, the biggest among two numbers and tell me whether it is a multiple of smaller number or not. If it is, then that is the answer. So you got your LCM in one shot if you're lucky. Sometimes you may not be that lucky. Like this question, here we will use a different technique. The technique is very simple. You see the two numbers, if you see, don't see any relation. I mean, no common factor, of course, except one, because one is a common factor for every number in the world. So forget about one. The question is whether apart from one, is there any other common factor? Of course, none in this case. And normally it happens when you have two prime numbers or one prime number any of these or sometimes uh, different case like for example 4 and 9 uh, you know although both are not prime but still there is no common factor so you can use this technique and technique is very simple multiply the two number you will get the answer for example this one is 204 multi LCM of 5 and 9 is 45, LCM of 7 and 5 is 35 because here we don't have any common factor just multiply the two numbers now coming back to another example, here we'll use the same technique which we learned in lesson 3 and 4, but we will see same question with another technique also, which is our third technique. So the technique which we learned earlier, see the bigger number, 63, is it a multiple of 18? Not possible, my dear friend, not possible. The reason is odd number can never be multiple of even number. Now let's come to the next multiple, which is 126. Is it a multiple of 18? Of course, here seventh multiple. How am I doing it? Fast multiplication division, which is the key to get success in most of the topic till grade eight. So 126 is the answer. Now, same question with different techniques. Sometimes it happens, you see that CF just by seeing the number. How it happens? Of course, it happens after a lot of practice. Once you understand HCF, once you understand LCM and you are good in multiple and factors and of course, multiplication and division. So if you know that CF, which is nine in this case, just divide nine by any of the number, whatever you get. For example, you get 218 divided by nine is two. Multiply it with the other number. You will get your answer, 126. You could have done other way also, 63 divided by 9, it would have come 7 and 7 multiplied by 18 would have come 126. The beauty of math is it doesn't matter how you do it, which method you use it. The important thing is method should be logical and it should use all the principles. If your basics are correct, always you will get same answer. It doesn't matter what is the method, whether a school method or a method from here. Now many of you would ask, Sir, we hardly learned one technique in the school and now you are asking three more techniques here. My dear friends, I remember one of my friend in Bollywood, the King Khan, he says, Please pardon me, sir. Hmm? But if you are using the same technique everywhere, for me, you have lost it. The reason is the way, you know, to achieve success or to achieve your milestone, you have to take different directions. When I wanted to become a great actor, I became villain hunter. I became a villain in Pachigar, but I became a hero. A hero in Dilwale, Dolanya Le Jayenge. Sometimes I did action, sometimes I did romance. So you have to take different routes to the success. Same way, if question is different, there is a different style, you use different methods, sir. Hmm? 
But if you don't use different methods, sir, please pardon me. You will face problems. You will face delays, sir. So let us forget about the drama which I created and come back to here. Let us use these techniques to solve our faction question. If you have done it, tell me in the comment box and I will be very happy to know whether you use my technique, school technique or your own technique and tell me what is the result of your observation. Let's see how to solve this one. So here in this question, use that CF technique. How? I will explain you. I don't know. Really, it's intuition. So we know that that CF of 32 and 24 is 8. Of course, see the lesson 3 and 4 to understand how we can do it fast. So we know it is 8. Then answer, divide any number with 8. For example, let's divide this one. So if you do 24 divided by 8, it becomes 3. Multiply with another number, 32. You get LCM 96. Once you get LCM so fast, rest of the question becomes easy. And that's the purpose of life of a mathematician. Make this reality easy by transforming into mathematical equation. And math should be made easy by using mental math. Now let's come back. What should I multiply in 32 to get 96? It's 3. So do 7 multiplied by 3, which is 21. And what should I multiply in 24 to get 96? It is 4. So 4 multiplied by 13, which is 52. Correct. Now let's see the answer. It is 73 by 96. Nothing more than a play, nothing more than a game. Let's go to the next one. The next question here, you can check. Is this a multiple of 48? Because it looks like, yes, if you have intuition, you will get it. And of course, you should be good in multiplication. Then only you can do LCM of such huge numbers. 144. Which technique? Just checking the multiple of first multiple of the bigger number on smaller number. We got the answer. What should I multiply in 48 to get 144? It is 3 fast multiplication. 3 multiplied by 7, 21 plus. This is already 144, so I should multiply 1 here. And I will get 11 multiplied by 1, which is 11. Answer would be 32 by 144. Here, I can see 16 is a common factor in these two. If you are good in multiplication and table, you will identify it at claims. So please, my dear friend, practice it as much as possible. So 16 is a common factor. So we'll divide 16 in numerator as well as denominator and we'll get a final answer, which is two by nine. And it's not that difficult. Only thing is you have to go step by step Addition, subtraction, once you reach to multiplication, division, you are already ready to come into the world of multiple and factors. And once you are good in multiple and factors, you will do amazing in LCM and HCF. Once you are good in LCM and HCF, you will do amazing in fractions. And once you are good in fractions, you will do amazing in ratio, proportion and percentage, which is going to come in future. And also the huge calculations which will come in physics in future. My dear friend, math is like a mountain. Go step by step and you will see the magic and always see mental math. Use your new techniques, not only from the school, from outside the school, from your brain, from new algorithms. My dear friend, the greatest mathematician Terence Tau once said that I cannot make algorithm for each and every way which I do because there is something called intuition. Same thing like sports, Virendra Sevak play another way, Sachin used to play another way, Kohli used to play another way, but all are successful. It doesn't matter what is your method. The important thing is you should know the basics. You should know uh, the properties. You should understand the number. Once you do it, you will find your own ways. And definitely you learn the ways from other people and try to incorporate in your algorithm and see the magic. I hope you would have got same answer. If yes, please like and share and subscribe and please also tell your comments which method is the best one at least for you thank you very much